Hey everybody, Hexlex here. So I've got a super, super quick video I want to get out real quick because, and I do mean quick because I think I literally, yeah, I have to leave for work in literally like half an hour. But before I do, I literally just read this. It just went live on uh, YGO organization like 10 minutes ago. Uh, and I was immediately floored when I read this new OCG card. I normally don't talk about OCG cards on the main channel. I actually do that a lot on my Patreon, uh, which has full length exclusive content videos every single day so go ahead and check that out if you want some more uh previews of ocg stuff but anyway 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 so mulch army furaros uh is a new card that was just revealed for the rage of the abyss set and after reading this card i've never been more convinced in my life that they're actually going to ban maxi um i thought for the longest time you know whenever people were saying now they'll ban maxi now they'll ban maxi even when the last mulch army card came out that people were kind of coping right because the ocg and by extension master duel has kind of shown that for whatever reason uh you know one that i don't personally agree with uh they want maxi in the game but if they keep this and maxi in the game this is gonna be ridiculous they have to ban maxi now all right Mulcharmi Furoros is a level 4 wind winged beast effect monster with 100 attack and 600 defense. You can only activate one Mulcharmi on other Mulcharmi monster effect the turn you activate this effect. If you control no cards, quick effect, you can discard this card. Apply these effects this turn. Each time your opponent special summons a monster from the deck and or extra deck, immediately draw one card. Once during the end phase, if the number of cards in your hand is more than the number of cards your opponent controls, plus six, you must randomly shuffle cards from your hand into the deck so the number uh, in your hand equals the number your opponent controls, plus six. So, this is kind of wild to me. This reads like a lot of uh, those uh, fan cards where people attempt to like balance Max C in one way or another. This kind of reads exactly like that. Um, and this is also not the first Mulcharmi card. Uh, some of you might remember Mulcharmi Perulia, which is, uh, I'll just go over it briefly. It's pretty much the exact same thing as what we just read. Uh, however, this one uh, is when your opponent normal or special summons from the hand, you immediately draw one card, right? Uh, do note that both cards say that you can activate one other Mulcharmi monster effect the turn you activate this effect, which does in fact mean that you can activate both of these. Now, uh, the Mulcharmi has been out in the OCG for quite some time. I believe it's just about to come out in the TCG. And um, from what I can tell in the OCG, it sees like mostly sideboard play. Uh, I think Tenpai sometimes plays this, but otherwise this one hasn't seen a ton of play. And it makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, when you're only drawing off of normals or specials from exactly the hand, um, you know, this is not nearly as powerful as Max C. And that's why when this card was first spoiled and people were like, oh, they're gonna ban Max C, this is the Max C replacement, they can finally ban it. I was like, I don't know if they will because this doesn't seem to be nearly as powerful as Maxi to me. Now, obviously, that should be the intention. Maxi is an incredibly overtuned card for modern Yu Gi Oh, right? But um, this card only specials when normal or draws when normal or special from hand seemed kind of narrow. Uh, this new one, on the other hand, huh? <laughs> when an opponent special summons a monster from the deck and or extra deck, which is by far going to be the uh, most common way your opponent is going to special summon. So let's think about this for a moment. This is effectively the same as Max C. However, you're only not going to get special summons from the hand or graveyard. I will say, especially for certain decks, that not being able to special summon when your opponent, or may not be able to draw when your opponent special summons from the graveyard, that could actually end up mattering quite a bit, right? Um, however, I, uh, I still think that just drawing one from whatever they summon from the deck or extra deck is, is just so, so good. Also, the fact that, again, you can activate the other one in the same turn. This means that effectively, right, if you're playing both Mulch Armies, let's say you open, let's, let's, let's say you don't even open the new one, right? What I consider to be the better one. Let's say you just open the older one, right? You do this at the start of your opponent's turn. They normal summon. You draw a card. And, like... As you're drawing off of this first card's effect, it's not that hard to then draw into this card, be able to activate it, and now you effectively have a max C setup. Um, but the big thing that I think when I read this card is like, there's no way this can coexist with max C. There's no way that this, this can be allowed, right? 
Like, because think about playing, now as we just talked about playing the two Mulchorme cards in the same turn, think about playing this and Maxi in the same turn. Let's say you Maxi your opponent, right, at the beginning of their turn. You draw a couple of cards off of Maxi, drawing into this, and then you activate this one. Now, granted, um, this last condition will apply to both you, uh, to both the cards, rather, that uh, were drawn off of this and Maxi. However, um, you're still getting to keep quite a few cards because you shuffle until you control cards in your hand equal to the number of cards your opponent has on the field plus six. So even if they only end on one card, you're still keeping seven cards in hand and you net gained a plus two for drawing off of that, which is still quite insane. I think the most balanced thing this card has going for it. By the way, I also just realized this is a discard. It's not like Maxi, we have to send it from your hand to the graveyard, meaning you can actually use this under Shifter and uh, Dimensional Fissure and Macro and that kind of stuff. So that's worth noting too. Of course, the most balanced thing about this card is that you do have to control no cards. So in that regard, uh, that is like, I think the biggest difference between it and Maxi. Uh, and I think that is the most balancing factor. I don't think there's a lot more about this card that's balanced, even this last effect. Um, I mean, yeah, this is obviously preferable to just having a million cards in your hand, but um, again, still, if your opponent ends on even one card, one plus six is seven, so you're going to keep seven cards in hand. And if your opponent played into this card significantly, they're probably going to have one more than one card in the field, which means you're going to have a very sizable hand, right? Um, I think those of us who have played a lot of Master Duel uh, or any format where Maxi is legal can tell you you don't need to draw a million cards off of Maxi to make it good. Um, it's often the turn ending quote unquote factor or even just drawing a couple of cards uh, that makes the Maxi pretty good. And I do think that this effect is intimidating enough for a lot of decks that they will probably just want to end their turn. So. Will this be enough to balance it is my big question for this card. If you the if you control no cards clause. Um, because again, this this is a, a vast improvement over Maxi, where uh, Maxi, of course, you can just set up your board turn one and then throw it out during your opponent's turn. Can't do that with this card. Um, so it'll be interesting. I don't know. Um, if Maxi does get banned, does this straight up replace it? The answer is maybe. I did see again people saying that if Maxi gets banned, the Multarmy Perilia, the first one, just straight up replace it. That I always thought was kind of cope. Like, this card is definitely not as good as Max C. Uh, that's, like, very, very clear to me by reading it. This one, however, definitely not as clear to me for sure. So, um, I could see a world where this get, this is getting mained. It's kind of a going first card, but at the same time, it might be a powerful enough effect that it's worth it. And this is also if Max C gets banned. Again, if Max C does not get banned, I can't even fathom a world where you're playing this in Maxi, as in I think that would be absolutely ridiculous, right? Um, that would be crazy bonkers good. Um, especially in a best of three format, right? Where if this and Maxi are legal in a best of three format, you could in theory just side this in when you're going first, and now you have six Maxis, like, Again, this is this has a drawback, but if you go first, the drawback effectively isn't here, right? So at that point, you effectively have six maxis uh, in your deck. So again, I I you know I've been pretty uh, pessimistic about Konami banning maxi in both Master Duel and the OCG in the past. My my whole thought process behind it in the past has always been. Yeah, it'd be nice, but I don't expect it to happen, so I'll just keep kind of operating, assuming it's not going to happen. But after reading this card, I there's no way Maxi can stay legal alongside this, right? Like, now I think I'm hopping aboard the same train as everyone else where they're saying the Mulcharmy cards will, in fact, end up getting Maxi banned. We can only hope, because as a Master Duel player, I, I shudder at the thought of this releasing while the Maxi is still legal, so... All right, uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Again, this is just a very quick video, not the kind of upload I usually do, but I saw this and I really, really wanted to say something about it. So uh, I'm not even gonna do the regular outro for this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it off here. But if you are interested in more videos like this and you want me to make more content like this, definitely don't be afraid to let me know in the comments below. Again, I usually just focus on Master Duel, but this was such an important OCG release, I had to talk about it. 
Um, again, also, if you are interested in seeing me talk about OCG cards, I do that, just not here on the main channel. I do it over on my Patreon, where if you subscribe there, you will get daily content, just like here on YouTube, that is also full length. So, so it is another platform of content. And of course, if you subscribe, you get all the previous content as well. Anyway, that's enough of me shilling. Thanks for watching. And this is Hexlex. I'm signing out. Also hoping that you have a fantastic day.